Display the flag of the United States of America. Audience, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Post the flag of the United States of America. Audience, you may be seated. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Henrik Sarder Begin, and I'm the current president of the, there you go, uh, Glendale Parks and Recs Commission. Um, to begin, I'd like to, okay, I'd like to uh, call out some of our wonderful dignitaries that have joined us for today's uh, wonderful event. First and foremost, our amazing uh, mayor, um, Paula Devine. <laughs> Council member, Artie Kasafian. Council Member Dan Rodman. Council Member Ara Najarian. Council Member Brej Arajanian. From Congressman Adam Sheff's office, Mary Hovagimian. California State Senator, Mr. Anthony Portantino. California State Assembly Member, Ms. Laura Friedman. <laughs> Los Angeles County Board of uh, Supervisor, 5th District. Uh, on behalf of uh, Ms. Catherine Berger, Jason Maruka. <laughs> and now some of our city staff. Uh, city Manager, Mr. Rubik Golanian. <laughs> city Attorney, Mr. Mike Garcia. Deputy City Manager, Mr. John Tachtalian. Fire Chief, Mr. Silvio Lanzas. Director of Community Services and Parks, my good friend, Mr. Onik Bulanakian. Director of Community Development, Mr. Philip Lanzafame. Our police chief, Carl Pavelaitis. <laughs> then some of my colleagues. First, Mr. Ara Kalafian from the Glendale City uh, Parks and Rec Commission. Mr. Stephen Meek from our Parks Commission. Ms. Regina Joy Alcazar from the Parks and uh, Rec Commission. We're almost done. Glendale Parks and Open Space President, Paul Robinov. Yeah. 
Now, who's excited to get in there and enjoy the wonderful space that we have? So let's, let's get some energy. So before I introduce uh, our mayor, I'm going to give you some facts that most of you probably don't know about. Uh, the Dupemejian Wild uh, Wilderness Parks and uh, the, the history of the barn. So first and foremost, the land was originally purchased in 1898 by Mr. George Lemenege. I hope I got that right. It's a French name and it's very difficult. But um, So the, the park is approximately 709 acres in total, of which 12 acres of it is actually developed. So we have a lot of um, organic land here for us to enjoy. Um, 709 acres. I heard that. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Lemenege um, grew and harvested grapes on the property and then sent them to his winery in LA, the Lemenege Winery. Between 1914 and 1918, the original barn was built. The barn unfortunately burned down in 1933 in the fire and was rebuilt in 1937 with an upper, upper floor that was used as a residence. Now tell me how many of you would love to live here and enjoy this as your backyard. Oh, yeah. Developer Bill Bliss from Inner Valley Ranch purchased the property in 1968 with intentions to build 250 to 350 homes on the site. Now who's excited that no homes were built here? Oh, yeah. I'm sure everyone, right? Thank you, Mr. Bliss, and officially purchased the site in 1988. Between 1989 to now, the park has gone through many phases of development. Today, we are celebrating the final completion of the Stone Barn Nature Center. Inside, you will find interactive displays to help visitors interpret the human natural history of the park in the region. These include displays on how to safely enjoy the wilderness, the history and the impact of the fire in the area, and the interactions we have with wildlife in our area. For all the children out there, there's a children's area with interactive microscopes and learning tools for young visitors to learn um, and take steps to save the natural uh, life that we have here. Animals representative of all wildlife found in the area in our backyards. Um, there's also information about that. So. And trying to keep my message so short, I will invite our mayor, uh, Mayor Devine, to give some words on this wonderful opportunity that we have to be here. Mayor Devine. Uh, I'm so excited to be here uh, for the grand opening of the Stone Barn Nature Center. I want to start today with a huge thank you to our fantastic staff in the Parks Department. I know that you've been working tirelessly to bring this project to fruition and coordinate this wonderful event. I applaud you for all of your efforts. Let's give them a round of applause. You know, I'm laughing because some of them weren't even born when this started happening, right? 30 years in the making. Fantastic. Um, 30 years ago, the city had a vision for the area and we continue to refine that vision as we move forward today. We were completed in 1992 which recommended then that the barn be restored and used as an interpretive center. Development of the park has taken place in four phases over the past 30 years. Um, I'd like to introduce my colleagues to come up and maybe say a few words to all of you. So may I have uh, Vred Jagajanian and Ara Najarian, uh, Dan Brotman and Artie Kasakian, my fellow colleagues on council, come up and say a few words. Finally. Well, thank you everyone for being here today. I promise I'll be very brief, but what an exciting day it is to open up the visitor center and the activity center, the interactive center of the Stone Bar. This is such a great resource that the city of Glendale has, and this barn really caps it off like the crown jewel. So thank you to everyone. We forgot to mention Jess Duran, our former parks and, uh, and rec uh, department head, who played a big role in this. Jess, where are you? He's here. We brought him out of retirement. He's hiding in the back. But... Uh, Thank you, Jess, and I hope you all tell your friends about this great resource we have. Come up, hike, see the great displays we have, and enjoy Duke Majin Wilderness Park. Thank you, everybody.
Welcome, thanks for coming. Uh, I also will try to be brief here. Um, I was here um, with probably many of you, what was it, a month or two ago when we unveiled the mosaic right to my left here, so make sure you take a look at that, it's beautiful. I'll try to be brief as well. Uh, I want to just simply say that we're here appreciating land that didn't necessarily belong to any of us long before any of us were here. This land belonged to the native peoples uh, of this uh, continent. And they have an important saying, many tribes have it, they say that we don't inherit the land from our parents, we borrow it from our children. So to all the children that are here, thank you for allowing us to have this. We promise to pass it on to you in those all our elected officials who made it possible, and of course the community for your support. Give yourselves a big round of applause. My name is Roy Zagijani, and I'm a TV host and commentator in English. I have a suggestion for all of you. If somebody comes to visit you in Glendale, do not take them south of Glendale. <laughs> don't do it. We don't have parks there. Definitely bring them here and show them this beautiful park and you will give them the impression that all Glendale, everywhere in Glendale, we have such a great park. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to my colleagues. Um, the Duke Majin family could not be here today, and so I have a letter. That's so it. now that I have a mic that works, should I start from the beginning? <laughs> Where do you guys want to go inside? All right, so um, before I introduce you uh, to our next speaker, uh, I'm going to touch on what Council Member uh, Kasakian said. Children, all the children out there, listen up. Children. This message is for you guys. I need every children. one of you children. to agree to one contract that you guys are going to have with me. I need each and every one of you at least once a month to put your iPads down, to put the cell phones down, beg, plea, nag, yell, scream, whatever you can for your parents to bring you out here at least once a, once a month. Hopefully twice a month, but at least once a month, okay? okay. This is a wonderful, on, yes. beautiful place to actually enjoy and be part of nature. And I think that if the, the one thing that we should have all learned from what happened uh, starting in March of 2020 uh, till now, it's the fact that, you know, we don't know what waits us, you know, in life, good, bad, you know, sad, happy, but nature is always here for us and we should always turn to nature and this wonderful opportunity that we have. So to all the kids out there, we officially have a contract, okay? And you're not going to break the contract with this attorney. So... Now, um, I'd like to introduce an extremely hardworking gentleman. He's the director of, of our uh, community services and parks, Mr. Onik Bulanikian. Thank you. Um, I hardly work, so I'm, I don't work hard. I hardly work. Anyway, with that being said, I do want to um, welcome everyone, um, and I also want to invite Senator Anthony Portentino. Uh, to say a few words, and as well as uh, Jason Maruka from LA County Supervisor Mark. Good afternoon, everyone. President Sutterbeggy, and I have one little tweak on your thing with the kids. So this is the dad in me. I used to tell my kids all the time, for the next half day, you're in charge. We'll do whatever you want, as long as it doesn't require electricity. So I'd always put my kids in charge. i say, for uh -oh. four hours, we're going to do whatever you want, but no electricity, and they would look uh -oh. at me. I said, we could fly a kite, we could read a book, we could go on a hike. You decide. So that's a way to put the kids in charge. So anyway, just a little tweak on your... On your so on behalf of the California State Senate, I join the Glendale community in welping, welcoming the opening of the Stone Barn Nature Center at Duke, Duke Magian Wilderness Park. Congratulations, and let's continue to do great work in this wonderful city of Glendale. God bless. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Friedman. I am your representative in the State Assembly in the Legislature in Sacramento. And before that, as many of you know, I was a Glendale City Council member for eight years. I promise I'm not gonna make you do math. 
like my, my good friend Paula Devine. Uh, it's too early on a, on a weekend for that. Uh, but I do want to take you back a bit. Um, I, about 10 years ago, I remember being brought with my city council colleagues by the Glendale Police Department in a helicopter up to the 210. We couldn't go any further because at the time there was, of course, a raging fire. Like we had so many dates when this was going to open, and I can't believe it finally is opening. It's so wonderful, and all the work of all the people who brought that about just really blows me away, and I'm so grateful. Um, I'll be quick, but when I was a kid, one of my favorite things was wandering off into the desert I'm from Tucson and sitting, careful not to sit on thorns, and just eventually settling down and getting calm, and then I could hear bugs, I could see birds, I could get settled, and nature joined me, and nature welcomed me, and that was such a precious experience, and I feel that at the mosaic table, and I feel that very much in this park, and I'm so grateful to be able to share. Uh, this is a guest that has a uh, interesting story. Um, I'd like to introduce Denise Le Messenger, Le Messenger, the great grandchild of George Le Messenger, to say a few words. So I want to say uh, it's an honor and a privilege. And uh, I lived here uh, in a workman's cottage, but my grandparents lived here. My great-grandfather, of course, was here. And um, w when I have listened to all your speakers, and I'm sorry to take up any more of your time talking, but when I, I could understand the gravity of how many players, all the moving parts, I am, I, I am just uh, humbled um, and ecstatic about being able to walk this land because this could have been homes, this could have been developed. And I, I connected with my great-grandfather and I've been to his grave in France. And he would be so, so delighted at what has been done here and the history preserved. It is, um, it is magnificent. Uh, these trails, I have walked them uh, after they were developed from the Lamenage Lookout, a, 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 a special place for me. You can see 180 degrees. It, and I, I used to walk the, these trails early in the morning. I'm a flight attendant. All the children, remember we have that contract going? So I want all the children to also join us in the ribbon cutting ceremony. I think it's very, very important for you guys to uh, experience this. Kids are going to have the first ones. 
You have to be the first one. Come on, come on. Come on. Get them going right before everyone else. Good job, uh, President. He's laughing, but he's hyping me up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good job, Mayor. Good job. This is my second time here. Can you see how far away, but how easy it's a parking lot? Hi, Henry Kopar. <laughs> How are you? It is a part of it. I'm in a I'm in a bun in. How? Mr. Dimi, this way. Yes. Can we play here? This is the Chinkaro Fog. We need, we need an open space. There is no open space here, baby. Mr. Mr. Dimi, what you are saying? Each bichang step. Yeah. I step. I step. Step, Kaini. 
Es tikai to uz mēs pārtīju un sēties nekā arī MKZ. Čia zums ir tas? Vai? Nu cēr. Ok. Ahi. Let's go. 